I co-signed this when you said this. You're like, you know, I'd be happy if this is Amanda Nunes' last fight. I hope she retires. It'd be dope if she... And I think you have to walk through that fire to appreciate her retiring and having her wits about her. Yeah. She has kids. You know, she has a family. She's done it all. And even with Conor McGregor, which we'll get into, but even with Conor, I'm like, I hope he's done. That'd be dope. He, You're telling me this guy... Yeah has made it through. He's the highest paid athlete, one of the highest paid athletes of all time. And he's, he has his wits about him. He's done. Oh man, this is great. I think being a fighter, we promote that. It's like, oh man, I hope that happens. The fan base doesn't understand that they want to see them fight. They want to see him get punched in the face. And eventually those people end up like a BJ Penn or Diego Sanchez. So when you said that, I'm like, yeah, completely agree. But then I see the, the headlines and it's like they're they're like almost <laughs> yeah. mad at you. I'm like, oh, these people, these are just writers or journalists or you know people in the game that have never fought. They don't understand. This is such a great story for Amanda Nunes. But you got blasted right, they, for it. You got blasted for it. Oh, I got, dude. That's and that's the that's the new thing these days is just kind of taking out of context stuff that I say. And some of that is my fault because I just don't give a shit. Like, because yep. uh, I live in my own bubble. Like I'm here in Omaha, Nebraska. Like I, I like I don't dig myself super deep and I don't, I don't connect myself or how I feel about myself to, to like that side of the world. So like I've spent, you know, I, I was at the radio show earlier today. I've been by the pool ever since with a whole <laughs> bunch of people. And we didn't take one, th we didn't talk one thing about fights and I come back in here and we do this and like, it's, I just, I say how I feel and then I just kind of leave it, you know, and, and that's, that's what it is. But I did get, I did see, I got kind of blasted for that. And I don't understand how people could be upset about that. Like, I guess the way that I looked at it is she's got the fame she right. she doesn't even want because she hates everything else around like she hates the bullshit that comes along she with hates this. the countdowns all that stuff you can tell she's not right into she it. hates inter yeah she's not into it she hates the camera she hates the the interviews the just the the circus part of this show but she's got all the money she's got the record she's got the two belts great she's got time. another baby on the yeah. way she's got the houses the cars the like for what like why do you keep going because like I, I got a lot of cool shit, but I don't have the records. I'm not a multimillionaire like she is. I'm not, I don't, I don't have the belt. So like, I'm still chasing that. So I'm still like in the fire, Yep. but like, what's the reason for her to continue to go? So like I say, I, I look forward to seeing how happy she's going to be. And people are like, wow, you're looking for her, you know, her demise, yeah, but then she so retires strange. and she's in the octagon running around in circles, never dancing seen her with her kid, pouring, never seen pouring her beer happier. over her okay. head. Never, never. And never. I think that validated like, your point. It was like, yeah, look right. how happy she is. This is exactly what right. Amanda Nunes wants to do. She owes you guys nothing. She's given it all. She's done it all. She's hands down, no argument, the greatest female fighter of all time. It's over, guys. It, this is how yeah. you want their movie to end, man. We don't want to end where she, you know, she's, you know, slurring her words and, you know, she's broke and she has to fight because she has to take care of the kids. We don't want that. And why people no. advocate for that, I have no clue. Again, I, it'd be hard pressed to find anybody who's actually fought at that high level in the UFC, in the UFC just in general, that didn't agree with you. I, I really only saw, I think, other like journalists, you know, and maybe the, some of the bullshit media outlets go against your your point of view. There, I didn't see anybody who's actually made that walk disagree with you. I could be wrong. I don't no. think so, though. No, and I didn't. See, I didn't see too much of it either. It's just. I don't know. I just feel like I've seen a weight lifted off of her shoulders Agreed. and just like a, a chance for her to finally, truly relax. And also, every time you win, the, you know, this. I, I've never won the title. Yeah. But I would imagine that every time you win the title or, or you defend it, the next thing that you're talking about is it's who's next. You never get to enjoy the moment. It's the same thing with just a regular fight. It's as soon as you get to the post fight press conference, it's who's next. What's next? Next person. You're working at dates. You're looking like, it's exhausting. She's got small kids. I got small kids. Like yeah, too, I would but... love to just fight sometime and have everything yeah. that I've ever wanted. And like, you already got the titles and the belts and the money and all that stuff. And just like sit down and be like, fuck it. Like I'm out. I agree. And I'm I, out and I'm just going to be home. Agree. Agree. And, and raise my kids, man. And I have to worry about yeah. things. Like she's one in every facet. 